In this presentation, we will study test of divisibility. Whenever there is question on test of divisibility, you will be given a number. Let's say number is y and it is equal to 24689034 So this is the number and this is a large number and we will have another number like 2, 3, 4 etc. And we have to find out whether this y is divisible by this x or not. And you can clearly see how time consuming it is. If I ask you to find whether 24689034 is divisible by 3 or not. It will be very time consuming for you and we don't have that much time in exam. So what we can do? We can develop some tricks and we will use these tricks to solve this type of problems. In this presentation, I will explain these tricks and uh, we will see how to use them with the help of example. We will start with divisibility by 2. Divisibility means exact division. We have already seen what is exact division in the last presentation. So we'll start with divisibility by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if its unit digit is 0 or divisible by 2. So if a number is let's say a, B, C, D, then this is the unit's place of the number and the digit is D. So this D must be equal to 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8. If this D is equal to 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, then we can say that the number A, B, C, D is divisible by 2. Let's see one example. Let's say the number is 2, 4, 2, 4, 8. We have to only focus on the units place digit and it is 8. 8 is definitely divisible by 2. We will have 4 when we divide 8 by 2. So this number 24248 is divisible by 2. Another example is 243789. We again have to focus on the units place and uh, here we have 9. 9 is not divisible by 2. So the complete number is not divisible by 2. Now we will move to divisibility by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. So this is an interesting one. If the number is let's say A, B, C, D, then this number A, B, C, D is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits A plus B plus C plus D and let's say it is equal to z then this z must be divisible by 3 if the z is divisible by 3 the number a b c d is divisible by 3 we will try to understand with the help of one example let's say the number is 6 8 2 2 8 4 we have to add the digits so 6 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 plus 8 plus 4 6 plus 8 is 14, 14 plus 2 is 16, 16 plus 2 18, 18 plus 8 26 and plus 4 is 3 0, 30. So 30 is definitely divisible by 3, hence the number 6 8 2 2 8 4 is divisible by 3. We can also add this number 3 plus 0, 3 plus 0, 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 and 3 is divisible by 3. So you can definitely add the result again we will see one more example on this two seven nine nine six seven eight we will add the digits two plus seven plus nine plus nine plus six plus seven plus eight once you add them you will have 48 and uh, if you don't know whether 48 is divisible by 3 or not then you can again add 4 plus 8 this will give you 12 12 is definitely divisible by 3 but if you again don't know whether 12 is divisible by 3 or not you can add 1 plus 2 this will give you 3 and 3 is divisible by 3 so the number 2799678 is divisible by 3 so this is how you have to check for divisibility in case of 3 and uh, now we can move to divisibility by 4 if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4 then we can say that the number is divisible by 4 for example let's say if the number is a b c d and the last two digits are c d so the number formed is c d and if this c d is divisible by 4 then the number a b c d is divisible by 4 let's see one example 7 8 9 5 2 is the number the number formed by the last two digits 
is 52 and 52 is divisible by 4 if you multiply 4 by 13 you will get 52 so 52 is divisible by 4 and 78952 is divisible by 4 very simple now we will move to divisibility by 5 a number is said to be divisible by 5 if its unit digit is either 0 or 5 so if the number is a b c d and we again have to focus on the units digit units digit is d if this d is equal to 0 or 5 then we can say that the number is divisible by 5 let's see one example we have 248050 we have to focus on units place and at units place we have 0 so it satisfies our condition and we can say that this number is divisible by 5 the other example we have is 748765 we again have to focus on units place we have 5 on the units place and it satisfies our condition so this number is also divisible by 5 now we will move to the next divisibility that is divisibility by 6 a number is said to be divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3 let's take one example let's say the number is a b c d these are the digits of the number and if this number is divisible by 2 and if this number is divisible by 3 then we can say that this number this number is divisible by 6 let's try to understand this thing by the help of one example 6 8 2 2 8 4 is the number and uh, in case of divisibility by 2 we have to focus on the units place and units place is 4 and 4 is obviously divisible by 2 so this number is divisible by 2 this number is divisible by 2 and uh, we have to check for divisibility by 3 also so we'll try to add the digits 6 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 plus 8 plus 4 and this is equal to 6 plus 8 is 14 14 plus 2 16 16 plus 2 18 18 plus 8 26 and 26 plus 4 is 30 this is the same example that we took while understanding the divisibility by 3 so 30 is obviously divisible by 3 so the number 682284 is divisible by 2 as well as 3 so we can say that this is divisible by 6 also so this is the example in this case now we will move to the next divisibility that is the divisibility by 8 a number is said to be divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last three digits of the given number is divisible by 8 so for example if the number is a b c d e f g this is the number then the number formed by the last three digits that is e f g e f g is divisible by 8 so if e f g is divisible by 8 we can say that the number a b c d e f g is also divisible by 8 let's take one example the number is seven eight three four six seven three two zero so we have to focus on the last three digits that is three two zero and if you divide three two zero by eight you will have four zero forty so 320 is exactly divisible by 8 hence we can say that this number is also divisible by 8 now we will move to the next divisibility that is the divisibility by 9 a number is said to be divisible by 9 if the sum of its digit is also divisible by 9 if the number is a b c d e and uh, we have to find out the sum of its digits so a plus b plus c plus d plus e and let's say it is equal to z and this z is divisible by 9 then we can say that the number a b c d e is also divisible by 9 let's take one example for this 2736 is the number we have to add the digits so 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6 and it is equal to 2 plus 7 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 12 plus 6 is 18 and 18 is definitely divisible by 9 so the number 2736 is also divisible by 9 you can again add the result 1 plus 8 is equal to 9 and 9 is divisible by 9 so this is all that you should know in case of divisibility by 9 the last divisibility in this presentation is divisibility by 10 and this is very simple a number is divisible by 10 if its unit digit is 0 
So if a number is A, B, C, D and D is equal to 0, then we can say that this number A, B, C, D is divisible by 10. For example, here we have a 0 at the units place, so we can say that the number is divisible by 10. In the next presentation, we will study the divisibility by 11, 12, 14, 16, 24, 40 and 80. So these are the numbers whose divisibility we are going to study in the next presentation. So see you in the next one.